somebody from a skeptical organization is running and observing the test for you know for any one of the one million dollar challenge test claims. I suggested that um, I suggested that uh, James Randi modify his next test by having believers and skeptics he should have figured out preferably double blind to um, observe it and run the same experiment twice. Um, the the te the testee not knowing at any particular time whether he's being uh, he or she is being observed by skeptics or believers and then you know from that if you if they found an effect with a uh, with a believer observing but not with a skeptic that would be proof or at least uh, very high evidence of paranormal phenomena and that skeptics could actually inhibit it so this means uh, so this way we would actually have a um, this way we would actually have a means of um, of controlling psychic phenomena assuming it was there. This was the initial suggestion. I told him as well that also as well it would also put a uh, the final nail in parapsychology once and for all, and that most. Uh, and I also said that if he wasn't going to do anything, to then to have the uh, well, what I called the idiots over at Skeptical Inquirer to print a retraction to that because we can't have skeptics. Um, we can't have uh, skeptics writing stuff which might appear to support believers' positions on paranormal phenomena. Um, anyway. So that's why I tried to, and I tried to suggest that, and I gave my regards to James Randi. Here's what happened. Let's go back to the desktop where I saved it, and um, I should mention that was towards www.randi. Uh, that was set to randy at randy.org, and I could show you that again in a sec. And here we go. The second one's connecting. Hang on. Let's just take a quick look here. This is just giving me a pain in the ass. All right, here we go. Now, here's what's interesting. When he refuted, I also said uh, in the original email that uh, I also said in the original email that I was well aware of the defense that he is not always there. Here's the thing: when I pointed out uh, there were always skeptic observers uh, uh, there, he pointed out to me as follows. He said. When requested, I choose to be unaware uh, if test of any powers, if any test of powers is taking place, so that I cannot be accused of using my negative vibrations to foil any results. When the BBC uh, slash Royal Academy did their homeopathic tests in the UK, I insisted I should not be aware of them for that reason. He also then referred me to one of his Swift articles. Now, two things about this: the, skept the uh, scientific community already had a skepticism of homeopathy. So therefore, there were already skeptics observing and running the tests, even if James Randi wasn't present. Therefore, James Randi is not the experimenter, uh, 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 the experimenter we're, taught we're dealing with in terms of a skeptic believer observer effect or slash experimenter effect here. It's the people who ran the actual trials. Now, let's take a look at the actual uh, test, at the actual Swift article that was referred to. Just to prove my point here, I have here the last and final article, which is the one which was referred to, brandy.org slash 0635B. And here we go. This is the James Randi Educational Foundation, and it's from the SWIFT. Now let's take a look at this test claim. Okay, we're running down. Random House joins the dark side. Education in Boston. Education Netherlands style. ID Redux. And here we go. A preliminary test for the JREF prize is completed. The first things first is that um, uh, the J. Um, here's the here's the here's the bit. Um, because of the fact that the uh, that Angela lived in the United Kingdom, t uh, the JREF asked Tony uh, asked Tony Uns to uh, organize a test. Now the thing, of course, is though, is that um, also as well, this is the. Um, and he is a member of a local group in Britain called the Association for Skeptical Inquiry. Now, even assuming that uh, James Randi was not observing, there was a um, they ran the tests, straight protocols, and they found, of course, that she had no uh, that she had no uh, capabilities. But the point is that there was also this was working. And here's the thing: Tessa was a local observer from skeptics from the pub. Yet another skeptical observer. So even if James Randi wasn't there, there were still other people who, um, who, uh, who, who other skeptics who happened to be there um, running this test, who were not affiliated with the one million dollar challenge, whether or not James Randi was there. Let's take a look at the ending again. Um, basically, again, he talks about um, he talks about uh, 
he said the say um, the assumption is uh, the amazement is common amongst persons. The assumption is that their powers are real, and they have the notion that I have powers to de to defeat those who try for the prize is prevalent is also prevalent. Um, and the thing, of course, is though is that he. The point is, though, is that I'm not quoting that he had the powers. I'm quoting that this is an experimenter effect of observers who, um, uh, and of course, uh, the observers uh, who are skeptical have an in, or experimenters who are skeptical have an influence on the capabilities. Not necessarily James Randi himself, but it could be any skeptic who is running the test. For example, Nick, and, and it says at the ending, Nick and Tony and all those at the ASKE, Association for Skeptical Inquiries, referred to before, uh, who arranged and conducted the, Pel, the uh, uh, Patel test, we, th we at the JREF thank you for your earnest efforts at assuring that the preliminary test of this claim was appropriately achieved. And yes, I think we'll hear again from Ms. Patel at the end of May 2006. So he sent me this article to quote against the idea that, um, that there was any sort of experimenter effect. And I replied back in my email again that there are, I replied back again in my email, Thank you for the refusal to the other page. I should reiterate from my previous email that my magician friend pointed out that there is always an observer from a skeptical organization present. It need not be you. That's why I suggest that the next second uh, psychic experiment, running uh, run uh, running a second test, uh, the, uh, run a second test with uh, only believers observing. A scan the skeptical organization hosting, or you should pick the believers to make sure that they aren't going to cheat, but closely videotape to make sure that no cheating is going on. Now, again, and of course, he never replied to this email. And this is from James Randy at ran, uh, Randy at Randy.org. And the original email to which this was replied was also from Randy at Randy.org. And it uh, to, was to Randy at Randy.org. Let me take a look and uh, load it again just to um, prove it. Unless, of course, I picked up the wrong one again. Sometimes I click the wrong links. Okay, I clicked the wrong link. Okay, and now, oh darn, now my computer, um, now my Internet Explorer is screwing up again. Hang on, this will take me a technical second, this will take me a second to achieve. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to close that one again. Now let's uh, show again, this is an Internet Explorer page called, ah, uh, sorry, my computer's being a pain in the ass. Here we go. This is the show letter one. And the original email which I wrote to James Randi is as follows. Okay. And it's to randy at randy.org. So the reply was from James Randi in relation to this email. And once again, I will say, uh, I will point out from this email the exact pivotal point. That is once my computer uh, decides to load. See, white screen is being a little bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Now, here's the thing. Um, I also said, um, now the thing of course is though is that, um, okay, now the thing of course is though is that when I said the quote, I said, now this raises some, convert, some severe concerns for me if Psychop is writing about data which could support an argument made by the idiot believers who keep claiming that your influence or the influence of negative ske of skeptical energies inhibit their abilities. I showed the article and quote to a magician friend of mine who is also taking psychology. This was a friend of mine who happened to be online via Yahoo. When I, um, when I uh, suggest, when I asked him if this weren't debunked due to the hundreds of cases where you weren't around for the tests um, and still no results were shown, he suggested that because the JREF is a skeptical organization in nature, there is always a skeptic around somewhere near to uh, the test so that the effect, if there was one, would still be exerted. The point is that Mr. Randy still completely ignored this. Uh, gave his usual defense about the about the skeptical energies because of the fact that I already said that you know this had already been taken care of uh, but you know but, but that this had already been refuted because there was always a skeptic observer present the um, article which he showed me again points out that there are always skeptic observers present um, again there's basically proof that there is uh, or strong evidence that there is a skeptic observer uh, skeptic believer observer effect and James Randi refused to do any testing on it um, because he didn't reply and he hasn't done anything on it. So, based on that, I'm inclined to believe that there is um, more something more to this. That there may, um, I'm inclined to even shift from my own skeptical initial point of view, which 
and you know which kind of wavers belie- between believer and skeptic for a while and my current skeptical point of view back to a believer one uh, until 